The huge crowds in town for South by Southwest also put a huge strain on the bus and train systems in Austin. And this year, the festival doesn't coincide with spring break, which means there are more people, more demand for transit seats. Just in time for the chaos, Cap Metro launched, it launched its new operation center today, one of the busiest days of the year. So, new operation center opening on the really the first day of first South, day by, of Southwest. South by Southwest. I mean, nothing like a trial by fire. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> and we're ready. I guess like you could characterize maybe in the world of buses and trains, <laughs> This is like the Super Bowl for Cap this Metro this week. This is Capital Metro's Super Bowl, yeah. yeah. This is absolutely when we see the highest ridership throughout the year across our whole system. Explain then what all goes on here in this room. Right. So in this room, we've consolidated all of our bus dispatching, our rail dispatching. Additionally, we have building security and our APD supervisors in this room to be able to respond to anything that's happening in our system in real time. How quickly can things, for lack of a better term, like pile up if you have a, you know, a backup here or what train is delayed or something like that? Well, that, that can happen very, very quickly. We have lots and lots of extra service. So over the last, you know, five or seven years, we've been continuously refining our service that we offer during South by Southwest. But we also have you know, individual people placed at strategic locations all around our system, on the rail platforms, at Republic Square, for instance, downtown, other places downtown, to make sure that if there are issues where we see overcrowding or all those kinds of things, we have, um, you know, plans in place to respond to that immediately. So, you know, if we didn't respond to it, we'd have big problems, but we do have good plans in place to be able to respond. We wondered how many people use public transportation during South by Southwest. Well, last year, about 102,000 people used Cap Metro buses every year during the festival, uh, while about 4,000 used the Metro Rail. Cap Metro says that they have seen an increase in ridership in recent years. And 